What's up guys, my name is Adapt and welcome back to another video on the channel. So there's nothing really going on in FIFA at the moment and I have a fantasy Premier League Well, I did it last season for the later on in the season, you know, I didn't start it from the beginning. So I made a league, I'd say about three quarters into the season last season. Uh, like it was like, it was a couple couple i think it was two three months after just halfway in the season so uh i made a just a, a a league with my friends and you know i started off i was like temp for something like i was doing bad really bad and i managed to bring it back like Salah last uh, last year was an absolute menace like he scored every single game and then um i gradually went up i went to fourth and then I went to second, and then I went to first, and I actually managed to win the league by a couple of points um, last season. Um, probably by about 20, 20 points, was it? It was something like that. I, I can't remember how many there was, but I did. I gapped it quite a, a tiny bit, if you guys, if you guys get what I mean. But... I've reinstated that league from last um, last season, and I want to get you guys involved. So if you think you can take take me on, take my friends on, and you know I'll um, see how well you perform this season in comparison to me, then just join my league. You know I'm gonna put a something in the description. I'm gonna put the pin in the description. I'm gonna put a, the pin in the comment section down below with a link to sign up it's very easy you just sign up with your email address and everything and then you pick your team so you have a budget of 100 million now that 100 million you have to pick whatever team like uh, the best team possible well you think is going to perform the best and every week you get a, a free transfer per week and obviously you've got there's something called a bench boost, double points, triple captain. So these are different like wild cards which you can play. There's even one where you can make unlimited transfers per week, but you can only use one of them wild cards once, once a week. So everyone in the league gets one of them. So if you think, you know what, Aubameyang's gonna is playing Newcastle. No disrespect to any Newcastle fan, but if you're just like Aubameyang's playing Newcastle and you think he's gonna perform well and score a hat trick or something you fancy him to do well then you could put a triple captain on him and he'd get triple the amount of points he would usually get um putting someone as captain will earn them double points uh vice captain when your captain's not playing on the pitch your vice captain will take over captain so he'll get the double points instead so that's just an insurance policy so if your captain your preferred choice isn't playing then your vice captain will take over as as the captain um so the league is called winner takes all so you guys would know that you're in my league uh, when it says that you're in winner takes all to be honest so i'll put the pin as i already said in the comment section and the description down below so this is the team i'm using so in goal you guys are gonna be like you know what some of these players contradict each other like you've got a bamiyang um You've got Aubameyang up front and he's playing Man City this week. And you've got Edison in goal and Edison's going to earn points for clean sheets. But you've got Aubameyang. So where do you benefit? If Aubameyang scores and Arsenal do well, you're going to benefit from that if Aubameyang plays well. But at the same time, Edison's going to lose points in goal. I've done that because you only get one free transfer per week. And I think throughout the season, Edison and Aubameyang are going to be extremely consistent. Um, I'm going to get into each player individually and why I put them into the team later on into this video But that's how far I'm touching in touching into each player so far So Bamiyang and Edison, you know, I just think they're going to be consistent throughout the season So Edison, um, I think he kept one of the most I'm not sure who has a record for clean sheets last season I remember like the Burnley goalkeeper and the Burnley defense being absolutely insane last season but I just fancy Edison in goal because he was just very consistent last season and he's someone you can rely on to be consistent this season uh can I view some of his stats so 158 game points he got last season it's 2017 to 18 that's last season so he got 158 points uh who got the most amount of points uh I'll, I'll he got one of the most he must have if he had 158 points he had 16 clean sheets 
uh, last season and he conceded 26 goals last season. So those are really good stats for, for a goalkeeper, especially in the Premier League, you know, being the most competitive league, in my opinion, in the world. Now, our first centre-back, Tukowski. Now, you guys are thinking, why have you got him in there? But Tukowski, very consistent last season. The Burnley team, I remember them from my memory, being absolutely amazing at the back last season, you know. They were just great. They kept so many clean sheets. He got 101 points last season as well as a centre-back which is very good and for a price of 5 million you just can't go wrong i just think burnley if they have a season like they had last season you know you might even see me swap edison mid-season and even put um pope in there because i think burnley are gonna have uh another decent season you know i think they're gonna be mid-table at least but i'm hoping i'm hoping they can do well you know um 101 points um, last season, so that's why I've got him in there. Um, defensive clean sheets, 11 clean sheets. That's great as well, you know. Um, especially for a defender. And I'm not sure, 98.4 mi million. You, what is that all about? I don't know what everyone means, but 4.6 million he did cost last season, and he's gone up to 5 million. So you can tell that he really improved last season. My middle centre back is Kyle Walker and he got 138 points last season not as great as his 2016 to 17 season he managed to keep 15 clean sheets so that's great but he has set me back 6.5 million which is quite expensive for a defender but I think he's gonna do well this season you know he's an extremely quick player he's a good defender in real life and against Arsenal is he gonna have a, a good week this week I just simply don't know, you know, on one hand you've got Arsenal new manager, fresh faces, fresh tactics, but then you've got a under, like unbeatable Man City side, that like, it's going to be a tough one, you know, because on one hand, they, at either, at either um, side of the coin, you know, any, any team can win, you can't really predict Arsenal versus Man City this weekend. I can't really predict it as well because it's just a it's an unpredictable game in my opinion. So Vertonghen, um, sent right centre back. Tottenham had a very good season last season defensively as well. He managed to get 138 points last season, and he cost me six million. You know, as much as I, you have to give credit to Tottenham. Their defence last season was rock solid you know Tottenham played quite well last season they managed to finish was it third they finished I think Tottenham finished third or was it second I can't even remember you know I think they finished second I, I can't even remember but uh, Tottenham definitely had a great season last season Hyung Min Son 178 points last season uh got got how many goals did he score will it tell me so i think mp means match points I, I don't know no i don't know i don't know what each each one means you know is there any way i can tell history fixtures so he has newcastle and then he has fulham so that's quite cool i never knew that we could look at the fixtures here but hyung min son had a great season last season i think he'll do the same this season as well this um this guy as well 144 points last season you know 10 clean 10 goal goal scored oh here we go now we've got it so those are goals scored so hyung min son will tell me so he scored 12 goals last season uh assists eight assists clean sheets 14 goals can see yeah now now we can proper look into stats so 12 goals scored last season. I wouldn't put him past him to do bits this season as well. Vertonghen assists. These are zero. Uh, one. He got one assist. So his clean sheets and goals conceded. Not too bad in comparison to other defenders. Um, um, and I put this Miljevic guy because of the budget. He cost 6.5 million as well. But for midfielders, it isn't that expensive. But... I've just put him in there to make the budget and 
according to the stats 10 goals scored last season for midfielder that isn't bad 144 points did he beat son 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 beat him by a ton of points but to be honest for crystal palace player he's doing quite well um i actually pressed the right wrong thing there now sadio Mane, great season last season as well Liverpool were amazing last season. Yeah, Liverpool did finish second and then Tottenham finished third. So I'm correcting myself. But 10 goals scored, 8 assists. He had a, like, uh, this guy I had Mane, I had Salah and I had Firmino, Firmino in my squad. They were great together. And 147 points. He's just a good player. Um, yellow cards, he got 3 yellow cards last season. 1 red card. What was that red card? Can I see what team that was against? But starting off next season, they got so they got West Ham, they've got Crystal Palace, they've got Brighton. So the first couple of games are quite easy, and then they got Spurs on the fifteenth of September. So for the next month, I think Tottenham are gonna do quite well. This uh, not Tottenham, um, Liverpool. Tottenham might even do well as well. To be honest, you know they got Man U, so that's gonna be a tough game. But other than Man U. No disrespect to the other teams, you should, um, they should win, and they should perform decently. Na next, we have Obiang. That is just another matter of um, price as well. You know, he didn't do well f last season. Fifty-four points, didn't play a lot. I've just got him in there to, to obviously um, just just make up the budget. That's what it is. But there's nothing much to say about him. I don't even I'm not sure if he even starts. Does he I don't think he even starts for West Ham. I don't know. I don't watch West Ham that much, but 4.5 million, that's why he's in the squad. Now, um on the left side we have Aguero. So I'm playing a 3-4-3 this season simply because as I've realized the strikers get the most points because obviously they're getting the most goals scored uh, usually. Um I'd like to put a seller in this squad, but he's just 11 million and the budget was insane i think the players have gone up quite a bit from last season i even wanted to put a kdb in there but my front three uh, with my front three i just couldn't um so aguero he has uh he got 169 points last season i do think he got injured so how many games did he play can i see how many match uh, games he played some minutes played of 1916 minutes uh, so I can't see the amount of games he did play, did, can I? But he scored 21 goals last season, so that's very good. Um, I think Harry Harry Kane did win the Golden Boot last season, but I can't remember how many goals it was on. I think it was between Harry Kane and Salah. So 21 goals, 6 assists. I think Aguero is going to have a, a big season this season. And so is Aubameyang in my opinion, you know. Um, he scored 10 goals last season. It, after signing for Arsenal in the January transfer window, I do believe, uh, do believe, four assists as well, uh, and 87 points, which I think is quite decent. But now he's going to have his first full season in the Premier League, and I believe he's going to have an absolutely amazing one. I think, you know what? I think he can even contend for the Golden Boot this season. You know, but I just think he's going to be dangerous this season. On the right side, we have Firmino. For now, Firmino was great last season. Firmino and Salah, incredible. Mane was good as well, but 181 points. He got 15 goals, 8 assists, uh, 16 clean sheets as well. So he scored 15 goals, 8 assists, 2,760 minutes played. So I'm looking very excited. I'm looking forward to the season. Um, I'm very excited. It starts tomorrow, so make sure you join my league before it's too late. I don't know if I'll take this video down, but I probably will. Uh, the, the, this is my bench. I don't really care about my bench too much. So the league is called Winner Takes All. So when you are in Winner Takes All, you'll know you're in the right, um, the right league. So if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys later. Peace.